We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next. Welcome back to the Daily Helpline. Minister and author Sean McMillan is joining us today, along with our next guest, Deborah, who is having a difficult time dealing with the loss of her older sister. So, Deborah, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. And I can tell already that this is something that's a difficult struggle for you. Yes, it's, it's very emotional for me. I'm having a problem getting past the death of my sister because I, w I didn't get the chance to formally say goodbye. And why was that? Having to do with the family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They, they um, first of all, didn't uh, allow me to know that she was sick or in the hospital or close to death or even the chance to even go to the funeral, you know what I mean? So wait, wait, wait. Oh. So this is your older sister? Yes. And you said that she raised you yes. for a big part of your childhood? Yes. And then at what point did you all lose touch? Around 14, okay. when I was 14 years old and on and off after then, you know. Why did you lose touch? Whew, life. I um, had some problems with um, alcohol and other things, the party scene, you know, on and off, you know. Um, but now, you know, I'm here today just trying to seek some, some kind of semblance of peace in it all. You know what I mean? I can't find closure. What is the most unsettling piece for you? That the chance to say goodbye was taken. Mm -hmm. I had no choice. Help us understand why you didn't have a choice. <clears throat> because the family didn't include me. I had no knowledge of anything. Were you estranged from them? Were you in your addiction at that mo at that point? What was going I on? I was with you? never. I was never really estranged from from them. They were estranged from me. Mm. You understand? I was a sinner, even though I wasn't a sinner. You know what I mean? I didn't quote unquote do the holy Bible thing. You know what I mean? But I believe in the Lord, and He's always been with me. That's the reason why I sit here today. I believe to tell my story, because I love my family. You know, and I just feel like they were just stolen from me. The nieces and nephews, it's like, you know, I'm an enemy, I'm not. You, you did get to go to the hospital? One of the family members informed me she was in the hospital, and I went to see her for the last time, not knowing that she was dying, mm -hmm. not knowing that that would be the last time I lay my eyes on her. And how has this impacted you? Uh, it's not a day goes by that I don't think about her. At night I cry, can't sleep. You know, just wonder why, what did I do? She was like a mother to me. You just literally took her thin life from me and now in death too. And it's like, you know, where's the closure? Where's the closure in it all? And what did I do? And for you, what, what says closure? Being able to deal with the fact that, okay, um, you, I loved her, I did what I could while she was living, and that um, letting go, letting go and, and knowing in the sight of God that it's okay, okay, I did my part. I did my part. I just can't get to, I have some resentments. I'm gonna be really honest, because God knows I have some resentments because that was taken from me. So I, I need to get past the resentment in order to get to some closure. So Deborah, this unresolved grief piece was built around some resentment 
Yes, it and it's is. It's causing you to, to relapse into some behaviors that are dangerous for you. Yes, very much. You're carrying a lot of pain. Well, we want to continue that and talk more about that when we come back. We'll continue our conversation with Deborah right after this. Coming up. Now, there's another piece that I think is really important, and that is your sobriety. If you don't have that online, there's not much else you can do. And I can't, I can't do it. We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next.